All right, first off, I want to give all praises to Yahweh, Bashem, Yahweh Shai, Bashem, or Kakurash, the Wadi Yahweh, Bashem, Yahweh Shai, for allowing me to do another video through spirit, the Wadi Yahweh, Bashem, Yahweh Shai, for giving us his truthless worms, double honor to our apostle and elders at Great Millstone, his salutation and blessings to the old elect. And it's just going to be a quick video and trust in the power of his might because through this walk, I have, I know, I don't have all of us have testimonies of when we trusted in the Lord and he's come through or people just recognizing that there's something backing us. And the one testimony, uh, this nigga that I hated, I hated this thing. He knew I hated him. And, uh, I was working with him for a while and then he, he quit and got another, another job, whatever. And he came back because <laughs> we, <laughs> He was cool, everybody. And he said, he said, nah, he said, nah, 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 you over there. Because he knew I didn't like him. He said, he said, nah, don't you, don't you go put up a curse up on me now. He said, don't you do that shit. I, I, he said, I don't know about you. <laughs> hey, <laughs> and, and, uh, that's just a small testimony. And then we see when we put curse up on people. And then, the, and then the, that's why you should be very, uh, you should be very careful who you put curse up on because hey the, the we're using we have the power source man i don't care what nate or none of you niggas say man we have the power source man the names of yahweh by shimmy al shai is the power source if we all would have called upon the name of the lord during slavery we, we wouldn't be here we wouldn't be in 2023 in america we wouldn't be here and that's a fact our uh, the the one of the greatest kings to live said that man king solomon he made that prayer to the lord man and the lord honored it why you think why you think everything's in motion now it ain't because the name jesus is being pushed it's because the names of the lord yahweh by shimmy al shai are being pushed throughout the earth man and as you see that name being pushed and, <coughs> and that vibration being pushed the more prophecies come to pass the more the more destruction comes the more of us getting closer and closer and closer to the deliverance of israel man so fuck you niggas man talking that bullshit you niggas gonna die for that man at least you repent the lord gonna fuck you niggas up man the names of the lord are, are meant to be magnified because those are our power sources man this is uh Deuteronomy 32 and uh, verse 3. Because I will publish the name of the Lord, asc ascribe ye greatness unto unto our power. He he is the rock. His work is perfect for all his for all his ways are judgment. A, a God of truth and without iniquity, just and right is he. And that's our power, man. And the Lord said, if we will call upon his name in, in our captivity, he will hear us. This is why he took his name away from us. Because when we were called upon his name, even in wickedness, the Lord was hearing us. He was still saving us. Even though he knew the Israelites was wicked. But but what is that name? That's the power source. He had to honor that. He had to, he had to honor that deal. But, but now the righteous are calling upon the name of the Lord. And how much more is he going to save them, huh? How much more is the Lord gonna 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 bring salvation unto them? That's why we have to trust in the power of His might, His name, His word, His His doctrine, man, that He has left and given to our apostles and elders at Great Millstone, and push it, man. Let me get this. Let me go back to Ephesians six. That's where I was gonna start with. Is Ephesians six, in verse eleven, put on the whole armor of Yahweh, that ye may be be established. That you may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil. That's the crafty devices that Satan brings to spiritual demons. Uh, Satan, Esau, and even your fucking woman, which is just, she's a tool of Satan. Your job, your boss, whatever. Whatever comes in your life, this truth is, is our shield and our buckler. For we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against the rulers of darkness of this world against spiritual weakness in high places where wherefore take ye wherefore take unto you the whole arm of Yahweh that ye may be able to to withstand in the evil day and have done all to stand and that's the times we're coming in that the times were coming in that evil day man that hour of temptation that ultimate test 
and we hope that our armor is is battle tested and is ready for for that day man and that we be strong and do all that we can do to stand for the names of Yahweh Bashim Yahushai during those times stand therefore having your loins girded about with truth so you have to have the truth the true doctrine not piecemeal not this 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 Oh, it could be the chip. It could not be the chip. Or is this? No, no the truth, man. The whole 100% truth. Having a breastplate of righteousness and yet and your feet shod with the preparation of the gospel of peace. Ready to ready and prepare with this truth, man, with this doctrine to stand for it, man. If you're going to stand for something, man, as a so-called Negro, Latino and Native American, it should be for your power, man. For Yahweh, by Shem Shai. And not for this world. Above all, above all, taking the shield of faith. And that's the most important thing, faith. That's why it says above all, taking the shield of faith. Because say you lose those those other things in a say in a in a battle perspective. Say you lose the the the, the uh breastplate. Say you lo lose the girdle. But what? You still have that shield. You can still defend yourself. You can still protect yourself. And even you can even strike with that motherfucker. You you parry. Bow. Yeah. Y'all just seen Captain America get down with a shield. But either way, that's why it says above all, taking the shield of faith, wherewith ye may be able to, to quench all the fiery darts of the wicked. And take and take the helmet of salvation that hope, man. That salvation on your mind, having that having that vision that we will make it if we endure in the sword of the spirit, which is what this truth, this gospel, the the the, the Bible, if you will, which is the word of Yahweh. Praying always with 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 all prayer and supplication in the spirit and watching unto, unto with all pre preser and with all. What is preser, preser, preser? Let me get it. Let me get it. Let me get this word. Do 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 do. Do 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 do. Perseverance, okay. Well, let's go to the blue letter. Perseverance. It just says perseverance. Uh, let's see. This is uh, the root of perseverance. To adhere to one be be his adherent to be devoted or consistent to one to be steadfast attentive unto to give unremitting care to a thing to continue all the time in a place so your perse perseverance you're supposed to continue in this thing supposed to continue in this walk into the end you're supposed to persevere uh verse 18 prayer always with all supplication in the spirit and watching unto all perseverance and supplication for for all saints and for me that utter that utterance may be may be given unto you unto me that i may open my mouth boldly to make known the mysteries of of the gospel for which I am an ambassador ambassador and bound that therein I may speak boldly as ought to speak. And and this is something that our forefathers did now. They trusted in the spirit in the power of Yahweh by Shemi Al Shah. They trusted in his might, man. And you niggas talking about I don't Paul's Paul's right. Shut up, nigga. You monkey. This is uh, this is Sirach two, in verse ten. 
look look at the generation of old and see did ever any trust in the Lord and was confounded or did any abide in his fear and was forsaken or whom did he ever despise that called upon him for the Lord is full of compassion and mercies long suffering and very pitiful and forgive his sins and save us in a time of affliction so the Lord Yahweh if you trust in him if you have faith in him if you keep the faith man and, and persevere to the end he'll be with you man and that's our goal to have Yahweh Shai with us in these days and times that we're coming in man so trust in the power of his might man that's all we got what Peter say to the Lord he said well Peter said the Lord said to Peter he said where we go he said will you go also to leave? Peter Peter and I'm looking at the Lord Lord, where we gonna go? You have the ways to eternal life. We only have this truth, man. Ain't shit out there in this world, man. Ain't shit out there. Even the people of the world know ain't shit out there. Why do you think they losing their shit? But they only thing they have to grasp onto is this world. We have the greatest knowledge that will lead to salvation and utter immortality, man. So hold on to it. Fight for it. Fight these demons. These motherfuckers. Hey, fight them. Fight them because they going to come and that, and it's just a part of the battle. These motherfucking people, your thoughts, your own self, man. You have to fight them, man, until, until your house shot comes because he did it. He fought himself, man. He fought he fought the flesh. He fought Satan fucking him in the head, talking shit. Brothers betraying him. He dealt with it, man. And now it's our turn to deal with it. That's why the record was written <coughs> of your house shots ministry in his life so we would have that example to endure and be like all right this is this is a hey, the servant isn't greater than the master we got to go through what he went through and and it uh, and our burden is even lighter than what he went through so this is just something real quick all praise be to you how will by shimmy al shai by shimmer kakudash with that shalom